Hi guys and uh, welcome to some general information about the Kutakopter motors that we use and how we treat them. These are the motors we generally use on our craft and they would come equipped with a sand resistant cover to help prevent sand falling into the motor. Uh, there are some different designs that we use but this is typically one that you might see on one of our craft. The motor has a top bearing and a bottom bearing. These are important to treat with anti-corrosion lube, especially for drone users that are at the coast. You'll know that your drone often sits in the sand, may get salt spray off rocks, and even just the moisture, uh, high humidity in the tropical areas can cause bearings to rust. What we do is we install our motors with stainless steel bearings and then we treat the inner part of the housing using this amazing product called Corrosion X. We supply it in our craft for you to use in a small bottle and you are able to use some of this in a syringe and squirt it on the bearings. So typically what you would do is put a sharp needle on there and just put a drop of fluid like that on the bearing and you can rotate the motor. All right, in this motor, if you can't get to the top bearing, you can use it in a syringe. Just give that top bearing a spray and also the inside of the bell where your magnets are. And you can just give that a, a turn. So you can do this on your craft and give it a wipe down. We also suggest wiping down the outside of the motor, especially on the laser printing uh, with some corrosion X and that will prevent any corrosion in the future. Look after your motors, your bearings, and your craft, and your craft will look after you. Thank you once again, and safe flying. Gary, one more thing. The Corrosion X, is it good for your battery as well? Of course, uh, Henning. Uh, thanks for reminding me. What we can do here to waterproof your battery is, and this is what we do at our factory as well, we spray the terminals with Corrosion X, and this will go into the battery itself and means that this battery can actually operate underwater and will not get damaged if you had to land it in water so that's how you do it you spray these terminals or you can use the supplied dropper bottle it can be easier just squirt it onto those terminals and onto these terminals here uh, anything like that so this bottle you can use as well just squirt a bit in there and let it run down into the battery and you will protect your battery from salt water corrosion. Thanks, Henning. You're and welcome. See you guys next time. Hi, guys. Uh, this will show you how to use the quick release prop adapter supplied with the Kutokopter. You'll notice there's a silver gray on the motor and on the prop, those will be going together. It doesn't matter if you put it on the back motor or the front motor, as long as the silvers go together. The silvers work in a clockwise direction, so we'll put them on and just line them up and then you'll see we'll turn them on clockwise and then give it a small nip and that will tighten it. The gold on the other hand work anti-clockwise and then we'll put it on and then line it up and then tighten it and just give it a small nip. Now these props are self-tightening in the air so they will not come off under normal conditions. What's important now to remember is how to remove the props. The silver ones we will remove in this normal direction you're familiar with. So we just hold the motor, pop it off, and we can then unscrew it like that, or we can turn the motor. Okay, the gold on the other hand, we now need to remove in clockwise direction. There we go, it's loose, and we can turn the motor, and it is off. You'll notice on the props, you will normally find underneath some grinding marks these are balancing marks uh, done at the factory to allow the props to be in good balance that's how you use the quick release thank you and safe flying